a lot of people are really, really excited about the next Call of Duty game here, guys, which is gonna be Black Ops 6. We got zombies information, beta information. Also, there's apparently, like, alpha information as well. Those of you that know, we, we used to get alphas before the betas, right? And it would be, like, a PlayStation exclusive only, only thing. But this time, I think it's not gonna be. And uh, what if it's, like, exclusive to uh, only Xbox? Oh, shit! I, I don't know. And, of course, there is... Uh, we're gonna get down to that. And, of course, there's a lot of drama on going with the xbox situation as well we're gonna get down to it recently you guys have been absolutely killing it and i want to shout out all of you for watching the videos for liking the videos you guys have been killing it let me shin you some let me shin you some no homo of course let's go for two likes subscribe if you're new roll it and we're gonna be talking about the black ops 6 alpha what we may end up seeing later this summer plus even more definitely stay tuned uh -huh. but before we jump into that be sure to hit that subscribe button down below yeah. drop a like and consider like and subscribe and shout out to the homie dk dynamite black ops 6 is going to be released through the new cod hq application that just means that just about any day now we could be seeing a ton of new rumors pop up about the next Treyarch title the usual data miners over on twitter have been posting a decent amount of information over the last week and a half and i do think considering the rumor that we're going to be getting a reveal of some sort for this game before the start of season four which is may okay. 29th that probably means that we're gonna end up getting some type of announcement whether yeah. it's a you, you know what like you know what's crazy here is that we are hearing a lot about black ops 6 right now but we still haven't heard about the friendly <laughs> Because normally they reveal the, the friendly UAV online, the, the bundles, the skins, the BBC bundles. <laughs> Be before, nowadays, it'd be like that. They reveal the bundles, the microtransactions before revealing the game, and this time they didn't do that? Crazy! Maybe it's gonna be good, guys. Maybe it's gonna be good. Pop up in game or oh, no. a trailer that just confirms there's gonna be an Xbox showcase event June 9th. Something is about to happen, and it could be, like I said, any day now. But yeah, as a reminder, we have plenty huh? of brand new article coverage going up over on detonated.com for those that want to stay up to date with all things Call of Duty. We got plenty of writers ready to cover everything there is to know about the next Black Ops installment. I want to bring up real quickly the release date for this game because as okay. of right now, it's looking to be the exact same release date that Modern Warfare 2019 had so that game released on october 25th which of course was a friday and that is the same release date that's currently rumored for black ops 6 now black ops 6 could of course <laughs> release a week before that totally plausible but with the current rumor from yeah, insider yeah, gaming yeah. that the game is going to be dropping at the very end of october the yeah. 25th which is a friday is probably that date so it's gonna be the same game guys it's gonna be the <laughs> it's gonna be the same game but honestly though I, I, I'm not gonna cap. I'm not gonna cap. I, as somebody that didn't buy Modern Warfare 3 2023, and as somebody who did it, uh, whose uh, first game that he didn't buy was like uh, Modern Warfare 3, like that's the only Call of Duty game that I skipped out, right? I skipped out on, right? Uh, low key, I'm looking for, uh, for to see like how it's gonna turn out to be. If it's good, I'll get it. If it's bad, then I guess I'll skip that too. I don't know, man. But with that in mind, maybe Modern Warfare 19 is something to go off of in terms of when we'll end up seeing a Black Ops 6 Alpha, Beta, etc., etc. Okay. So looking at when Modern Warfare 19 did an Wait Alpha, it. it was the first ever Call of Duty Alpha that's ever released. And it's, of course, a couple of weeks before a Beta would begin. We had the Gunfight Alpha from August 23rd to August 25th. Yeah. Th this, one, uh, this one was the very first, first ever Alpha that uh, they called of duty started doing it ever since modern warfare 19 they do it every single year and apparently if i'm not mistaken somebody leaked it on twitter as well that this year we're also going to be getting the alpha so leak the coding off it so it makes sense it's going to happen and phil spencer of course in a lot of drama right now in the community right like everybody's going off of phil spencer because he put sarah bond mad bootay and phil spencer both of them dipped out let sarah bond catch all the heat we have been if you have been around the channel you know we have been covering all the drama from PlayStation and Xbox it just doesn't stop it doesn't stop man so there's that going on but Phil Spencer has said that you know all the content is going to be coming out on all the platforms day one and what we're now hearing is that the, there wouldn't be there wouldn't be any exclusivity so that's actually very very good <laughs> Yeah, uh, very, very good. But in terms of the alpha, will it be first on Xbox? Will it be on all platforms? Or will it only just be on PC and Xbox? Or where Game Pass is on? Like uh, Phil Spencer have been saying, uh, it's gonna be on uh, wherever Game Pass is at. Uh, uh, we, we don't know. We simply don't know. We then had the beta for that game from September 12th through the 13th. That was a bit of early access for PlayStation users. And okay. then the open beta for PlayStation was the 14th through the 16th of September. But then a little while after that, for 
Xbox and PC. There was early access from the 19th through the 20th. Then it was open to all platforms for free from the 21st through the 23rd. We could uh -huh. be seeing very similar launch windows for an alpha and a beta this time around for Black Ops 6. But something that I haven't seen much discussion about when it comes to an alpha is that there should be some better spacing between an alpha and a beta. I think they yeah. handle that fairly well. Uh, yeah, spacing in terms of time, absolutely. And also they should, they better not make it like 50,000 gigabytes for the alpha, right? <laughs> you imagine these things is made 50,000 gigabytes for the space. Uh, you're not going to believe me, but guys, I got to show you this, okay? If you guys got Twitter, Instagram, uh, I would definitely love to have you for sure. Absolutely. Uh, if you do have it, link should be in the top and comment below where you can catch all my YouTube channels, uh, secret link, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, all that. Uh, uh, but I got to show you this. Let me actually find this one here. From the alphas one and second. betas we saw for MW19, Cold War, and Vanguard, only the Warzone 1 era Call of Duty titles got an alpha, and there was at least a couple of weeks in between the alphas and betas so you're able to see some type of difference it, within the beta window following all the feedback and communication that the studios had been involved in with the players that got to play the game early but I think yeah I, I i got it so you're not gonna believe this so i received this uh, as a message over on facebook right, right? like I, I know you guys are gonna be like yeah 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 you, you still use uh, facebook I, I got like three friends on facebook guys that I need to communicate with some time to time. Yeah, you know, like, it, it, it's like that. So, point, the point, let's get down to the point here. The point here is that that, uh, that brother actually sent me this picture and I tweeted, Call of Duty is over 300 gigabytes now. A homeboy of mine sent me this pic, lol, he was furious. So, you can see, 306 gigabytes! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You suck as crazy! And then you can see Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Uh, it, it does not include Black Ops Cold War because that is another 99. So, brother, brother got, and you got Call of Duty here, 12 gigabytes, I'm not sure what's that, but like, <laughs> so brother, you're saying 400 plus gigabytes alone is Call of Duty? What is going on right now? What is going on? If I have to take a guess, this is like Warzone, and perhaps like Modern Warfare 2022 or Modern Warfare 3, or maybe both of them combined. I could be wrong. I'm just trying to think of a best case scenario that's like all the Call of Duty games combined. But like, then you see Black Ops Cold War here separately. So I don't know. I don't know which one this is. I'm assuming this is Warzone only, or perhaps Warzone and one Modern Warfare game. I think if you look at Infinite... A any scientists in my chat, let me know. Let me know. Warfare, about, for example, the beta for that game was really close to the actual launch of the title, and what that meant was that the build people out there got to play during the beta was very, very similar to how the game released, and I think for the current era of COD, if the beta releases too close to the full launch of the game, then you're probably not going to see all too many changes when the game fully yeah. comes out, and you have to wait until... The betas are final products. Like, guys, how many times we have been saying this, and how many times you see, like, the betas, in, in all reality, some sometimes or not sometimes more often than not the betas are way better than the game itself I, I don't even know how that works okay i guess i know how that works because the beta is their way to give you the first look at the game and they're trying to make that the best it possibly can because when the game comes out then you're bombarded with skill based match again the the the, friendly the the bundles the 80 dollars uh king kong punch the 100 dollars camel that they came out with recently and the community is saying hey it's just a reward man it's just a reward activision is just nice you know and when the full game comes out you get bombarded by microtransactions and skill based match again and all the bad stuff but in the beta you don't have any of that right so the betas are like much better i would say in my honest opinion and, and usually they're the final product because by the time they come out like he's saying yeah there wouldn't be any much time any more time left it's their way i guess of testing the servers out right that's their way and to get your money as well because you pre-order and you get the early access to the beta all uh, right that's uh what what it's all about season one for some real changes to take effect but if an alpha releases very early that would just mean that a beta probably will follow shortly after that at least by a month or less that's the goal okay. and then by that point you can hopefully see a good amount of feedback listened to so that the launch window is as smooth as can be so here's mm -hmm. where i was going with this so as of a couple days ago uh -oh. following the launch of season three reloaded semtex leaks returned to twitter to post some new information about what he found in regards to a black ops 6 multiplayer alpha so yeah, as he pointed this out one, yeah. this could totally Holy yeah, this is the one that I saw. I remember seeing this tweet. So it, it, it it's leaked. Uh, it's put in like the uh, 
the, the the files and every year they put it in the files and people find out about it so just be an internal play test for the studio this might not be a public build that we're Could all going to be seeing or yeah. playing in the next few months it's always possible that some content creators get flown out later this summer to play whatever this alpha is and then they give some feedback and then that gets put into whatever the beta build does look like which we are going to see at some point i highly doubt that we're not going to get a beta this time around for black ops 6 when was the last time we didn't get a beta for a cod it's been quite some time but when it comes to this yeah, alpha yeah, yeah. i'm certain that the yo what game started the entire beta uh beta stuff i remember the last call of duty that can that i can think of that did the beta was i guess black ops 3 um i don't remember advanced warfare though did advanced warfare had a beta what what call of duty game started the betas i the only the only recollection that i have of memory is uh, black ops 3 that it had a beta it had a beta the usual leakers out there likely haven't gone through everything that's bundled with a season three reloaded patch maybe they have but i'm not a leaker so i couldn't tell you but what i could guarantee is that when the season four patch rolls around in the next couple of weeks for may 29th i can bet there's going to be a ton of spicy details about black ops 6 in that update i'm actually nervous doubt. about what's going to be in there i doubt it we're probably going to get the details but i don't know if it's going to be spicy or not man i don't know man like hopefully nothing too crazy in terms of spoilers because i love the element of surprise the hype and the marketing it's always great when things out there don't get leaked right before a big reveal but you can bet there's probably going to be a bunch of info about the next trailer I, I mean like let's be real like i'm looking kind of forward to this game kind of right like I, I hope it's good guys i seriously want to see at least one good call of duty game after this long right come on dog i i think the community deserves it i think you watching deserves it as well even if you're somebody that's gonna be like hey i'm not gonna buy this year or i'm gonna buy this year i i feel like that whatever your decision is hey that's perfectly fine right but I, I, I really want to see brothers being happy. Happy. I want to see like a good game after all this time. Hopefully one game is good. But when you say element of surprise, come on, man. It's, uh, like, biatch, please. Please, right? Like, it's... The, the only element of surprise we're going to get is like another another $100 microtransactions. Perhaps this time they're going to double the price to $200 <laughs> or something. That, that's going to be the element of surprise. Like, don't, don't ex Fair game, considering expect. We're going like, to end up seeing a showcase on June 9th, and that's probably when pre-orders do go live, in which you yeah. can then probably take some pre-order bonuses into MW3 and Warzone. Now, I think a big takeaway here is that if there is a public alpha for Black Ops 6, keep in mind there was an alpha for Black Ops Cold War from Treyarch many years ago, that would mean that this is the first non-PlayStation exclusive alpha that we're going to yeah. be seeing. Because yeah, unfortunately, yeah, yeah. looking at the last couple of alphas that we got for other CODs, they were all exclusive to PlayStation. None of them ended up coming to Xbox and PC, at least not from what I can remember. Obviously, yeah, yeah, with the betas, not, you get not. one weekend for PlayStation and then one weekend for all platforms. But the Sony exclusivity deal has officially come to an end with Modern Warfare 3, meaning that because of the Microsoft buyouts, we're no longer going to see any type of PlayStation exclusive benefits yeah. inside of call of duty so either we're gonna get like the alpha on all the platforms or just xbox alone though oh, shit. right but i uh but knowing what phil spencer said i i mean listen phil spencer from what we have heard guys listen not no no shit to him as a human as a person um, the guy is probably a good guy or maybe not i don't know i don't sleep with the guy i don't know but we're talking about businesses we're talking about people in suits out there corporations they don't care uh, I, i'm saying the same for sony here i'm saying the same for xbox and all the corporations and realistically you, you know what uh, plans plans realistically they do change as well so whatever they said a year ago it doesn't mean that they're gonna like stick with it right like that goes for any corporation right but if they're not gonna flip flop and if phil spencer is not gonna flip flop his words then it, it means that it's gonna come out on all platforms but uh I, I don't know man uh, realistically like they bought it for 70 billion so if they were to choose to put it on xbox to me it would kind of make sense yeah exclusivity sucks but let's be real exclusive games that playstation got is the main reason why playstation sells the way it does and if xbox get better exclusive oh shit like yeah it's gonna sell like crazy exclusive exclusive games are bad for the consumers for all the gamers uh, all of us as a whole but you know what consumers and gamers go where there is good amount of good games uh and good games uh i, I guess they the re the way they they package them is by making them exclusive right so gamers go after something that's good for them and that's exclusive that you're not gonna find on the other platform it's same thing with like phones right like samsung versus uh, uh apple right it's it's the same thing you buy samsung for one reason you buy apple for another reason the reason that you 
where you're not gonna find on Samsung and vice versa. So yeah, let's see what happens. Whether that means Microsoft wants to go ahead and say, hey, you can only play the alpha if you have a Game Pass subscription or if you're on Xbox and PC, that remains to be seen. I highly doubt they're ever gonna do that, at least not for a while. I'm sure that this will be the first alpha that you could play on all platforms. Yeah, I don't think yeah, Microsoft yeah. wants to get off on the wrong note with the first Call of Duty to release under their leadership. I mean, yeah, I also, I yeah, I, I do agree with him on this one because if they were to do it already there's so much drama there's so much drama with it right already there is so much and if phil actually goes back on his words then bro that's gonna be devastating for xbox though right because they said one thing and done the another thing i, I mean they could have said that they're not gonna drop it on xbox or they're gonna have some exclusive content for call of duty on xbox that would have been perfectly fine if they said that but they said nope it's gonna be for everybody, gaming for everyone, gaming for everyone. And if they then go uh, go ahead and decide to change that, then of course a lot of people would be mad. But I feel like that for the foreseeable future, they're not gonna. And guys, recently we had this as well. I I'm not sure if you guys got to catch this clip or not. They ended up getting hacked. Oh shit! Oh, shit. Yeah, uh, so uh, yeah, this video is going viral right now. Not sure if you guys were able to catch it. Check it out, and I'll see you right there. On the left, this video is on my second channel. Yay, second channel, guys, second channel. Check it out, and I'll see you.